In this one, we're going to do a little small fish room tour. I'm just going to take you around some of the tanks as it is the end of February, but I'm also going to tell you about a couple of things that are happening. So the first thing that's going to be happening is this Sunday, Sunday the 3rd of March, and that is the auction. So it is the Northwest Cichlid Group auction, and that's the only auction that I attend, and I mention it every time it's on. It's on three times a year, and the, this is the first one of the year. So get over there if you want to get yourself some bargains. I mean... On my channel, I like to shout out the shops. I like to support local fish shops 100%. And I like to give you guys as much option as uh, many fish shops as I can show you. But also at the same time, it's, sometimes it's nice to save some money in your pocket. Well, not sometimes. A lot of the time, it's nice to save some money in your pocket. So you, I guarantee if the fish are there that you like or the dry goods, you know, you are going to save some money. So... If you want to know more about this auction, head over to Bill's Cichlid Room. Bill's going to do a bit more of an in-depth video on that. What I will also do while I'm there as well is I will we'll get some footage of the day because it's good to show you what's happening even if you don't go this time. And hopefully we'll, we may even buy a fish or two, I'm not too sure. Also, I have decided to move my Nanolutus on. So I'm taking my Nanolutus to the auction but someone is taking them off me. I have just come to decide after a year of having this species that... I just think they struggle a bit in my water, nothing's happening with them, so I'm going to give them to someone else to see if they can get them going, see if they can get them to breed, and there'll be more to follow on that, but yeah, I'm moving the Nanolutus on. Anyway guys, let's turn around, let's go and have a look at some of the fish and see what's been happening. So there will be a bit of glare in this video because the sun is shining, which is absolutely brilliant, so at this point in time I'm happy to see some sun. But these are the, the little waru and they are growing like weeds, they're doing really well. They're coming on a tree and I said in the video when I introduced you to these that I was hoping to maybe get them in the summer auction. Now they are growing quite quickly to be fair, quicker than I thought they would probably grow. So may have to thin them out sooner than that or make something happen in my fish room where I can keep these for a little bit longer. But that's the waru so let's head off into the fish room. That is the Paracromus multifasciatus, but we featured them the other week, so we're not going to feature them this week because it weren't that long ago. So, what are we going to show you in this fish room is Trigger. Now, check this out. This is what I have to put up with. So, he's pulled that one out. Oh, he's pulled two of them out, so I'm going to have to put them back in. He does this all the time. Luckily, that one in the middle, for some reason, he can't pull that out. But he's stunning, as always. He's as angry as ever. But well, he's just beautiful, isn't he? Absolutely stunning fish. And I actually did a water change on this tank yesterday, but I'm being pretty lazy in the fish room. Look at all that algae, even on the front of the tank. And I usually move it off the front of the tank, but I am being pretty lazy. No, no it's not that I'm being lazy. I'm just very, very busy at work at the moment. So anyway, that's Trigger. Quickly moving on to the convicts. Love this fish. This is so, honestly, I love these two. Such little characters. And guess what they're doing again? They are preparing that cave there to have yet another. Oh, in fact, I've just spotted it. If you look behind that branch, they've actually had more. I think this is their fourth spawn since I've had them. They are not letting their fry grow. They are let, killing their fry off. And probably, I mean, it's a small tank, isn't it? I wouldn't expect them to in that small tank, to be honest. But yeah, I saw them the other day preparing the... See if we can get on the side view. Preparing this cave but if you look closely there we have yet more more young and this male is following me around the tank because he sees me as a threat to his young well yeah i love this fish said it a few times they're still in this tank I, I, I probably wouldn't have moved him anyway right now because i am just like i'm not spending nowhere near as much time in here with them but when i do come in here this is one tank that i do like to sit in front of and watch and that male is beautiful. Anyway, let's move on to another tank. So this one down below here is the South American tank, which I showed you a couple of videos ago. And you can see in this video, I'm sure the video is showing the tannins off. We've started to get some real nice tannins in here. We've got some capita leaves in there, some older cones. And then if you look, I have put these plants into hide a heater. Why have I put a heater in there? Because my fish room is heated. Now there is a couple of new fish in there. Let me show you what they are. 
So it is a couple of Pandawaru. As you can see, there's one, well, they're both under there. The other one is just did in. A couple of small Pandawaru. Got them from DJA Aquatics, Dylan. Dylan does have a fish tube video, so head over there and check him out. He does shop tours. He does fish room tours. He loves plecos. So I'm trying to show you them. They're only small, but I'm getting photo bombed by all the other fish in here. This is probably my favourite tank at the moment, so love this tank. The Brazilienses are growing like weeds, but they are also quite boisterous. So I was a little bit dubious about having those Pandawaru in with them, but honestly, it doesn't bother them. Now, this is a temperamental fish, which is why I've put the heater in to bring the heat up. They need The heat they need is higher than what my fish room produces, so I've done that because if you fluctuate eight with the, eat with these, they, then they're very susceptible to it and they are, they, you know, you can lose these fish at the drop of a hat. But they're stunning, so big shout out to Dylan for, for selling me them. Yeah, that's the South American tank, guys. Now this one is the one, the fish tank that I had one of my wipeouts in. So for a few weeks now, it's only had these Colombian Tetra in there and there is now a, my group of Salvini in here, but you can't see them. They are hiding. They've been in here probably a week and a half and they're still, you know, they're still hiding. So I'm just going to leave them to it. We'll have to do a video on these at a later date. But yeah, they're doing really well. Another thing I wanted to show you, this is my, what I did with my corner. So I've put all my, brought my caps into the fish room, put all my Oratin stuff up, the stuff I got from New York, caps everywhere, caps everywhere. And I got myself this little hi-fi. So anyone that's interested, thought I'd show it. Yeah, good old school hi-fi. It's got the record player, the tape deck and the CD player. And there's a load of my dad's old vinyls in there. So yeah. I thought I wanted a bit of a section in my fish room where I could just even, you know, I chill out in here anyway, but I wanted to proper chill out in here. So yeah, love that. Reminds me of me old man, it does as well. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. That was a very, very quick fish room tour. I wanted to come on and obviously tell you about the auction and obviously tell you about the Nanolutus and just show you a few of the tanks. I haven't showed you the pipe yet again. Now, this time I've not shown you the pipe because they are suffering with white spots. So I have been treating the tank and the lights are off. I don't, you know, when I'm treating my fish, I leave the lights off and give them the best sort of like, you know, safest feeling that I can give them, if that makes sense. But I will show you them at some point. They do look like they're coming out the back end of it. But like I said, this video was more about me giving you the option of the auction and it is well worth a visit. Google the address that will tell you how far away it is. If you want to message me on any platform, just message me and I will answer any questions you have. There's already a few subscribers off this channel that go, so you get to meet other subscribers and fish lovers. And yeah, and hopefully grab yourself a bargain if you do go. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. just want to say a massive thank you as always, and I will see you all on the next one.